Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Griffin GFX, the best graphic design channel on the entire platform that is known as YouTube. Um, <laughs> so recently I did, no not recently, a while ago I did um, a mascot logo tutorial on how to make a logo like ninjas and that did numbers. But a lot of you guys didn't like the ending where I stopped the tutorial and it just rolled into a speed up. Because um, I covered quite a lot in that little section that you guys obviously wanted to know how to do uh, So in this video, I'm taking a client logo that I did. I did it earlier this week um, And it's just a speed up But I'm gonna be sitting here with you guys now and I'm gonna be talking over kind of what was going through my head What I was doing in Photoshop uh, to do the effects and to do everything uh, if you have any troubles during this video following what I'm saying because uh, obviously this isn't a real-time tutorial, but it should still be useful. Then go into the pinned comment and go to my Discord, and it's like a it's like a place basically. It's a community um, where you can just ask me questions. Uh, other people might answer. Uh, it's free to join. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit shaken up, right? Because I was doing this video before. Uh, I was about five minutes in and my head, like my computer crashed and there was like an insanely loud sound just coming from my headphones. It was like <coughs> Alright, so the sketch that you're seeing in the background is literally um, Just a sketch that I did with my drawing tablet I didn't have the recording of that because I was doing a bunch of different sketches trying to figure out which one I liked um, I did this Sphinx one which I thought was quite sick as well So if any of you want me to turn that into a logo, just hit me up here I was using the Photoshop symmetry tool. Symmetry tool. It's a really like nice feature to help you sketch quickly. Um, obviously, it's super useful if you're doing something like this where it's um, symmetrical. This was a little symbol he wanted to put on me to put on the pharaoh's head, and I just used loads of circles that were all the same size so that I could make sure it was going to be like a consistent width. Um, it's a quick little trick you can do if you're trying to make like a simple logo in Photoshop. I'm going to be going on holiday as well soon guys uh, for like 10 days which means there's not going to be many videos. If I have time I'll put one more out before going uh, but just a little update but I plan on grinding out videos after that because I've been catching up on client work recently which means I haven't been getting much videos out um, but I've been trying to get all my clients done before going on holiday so hopefully when I come back I'll just have loads of time to make videos. Uh, right so what I did here is I just added the text I seem to have gone to the toilet or something but it's good because it gives me time to talk uh, I added the text so that I could kind of get like a look of what the final logo was going to be like um, in like the simplest form if that makes sense that's like really good thing to do so that you don't like spend loads of time working on a part of the logo that's going to end up getting covered by text or something so it's good to kind of pre-plan everything if you struggle with the sketching stage, uh, I might make a whole video on how to come up with logo ideas because I know a lot of people say like, oh, you have to be like good at sketching or you have to have loads of ideas. You really don't. I just got loads of reference images up um, and I just kind of, I drew over some of them. I did my own and then I like got to a conclusion of like what I thought looked like a cool Sphinx. Uh, not Sphinx, sorry, Pharaoh. I don't know if I've been saying Sphinx. This is a Pharaoh logo. Um, and yeah, you could really like apply this knowledge to any mascot logo. I'm going to be putting more mascot logos up on my channel because I know you guys quite enjoy them. And I have a lot of fun making them. And because of the ninja video, I'm having lots of clients requesting them. So it makes sense that I kind of record that. So here I've moved on to the pen tooling section. This is just where you take the sketch that you've got underneath and you start making it into the final logo with smooth lines. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, then go check out my pen tool tutorial that I made. Uh, it includes a download link to a game that I made in Photoshop where you basically have to um, keep the pen tool lines within a pathway. It's quite a fun game and it's just like a cool way of learning to use the pen tool. If you guys want any personalised client work, by the way, something like this maybe for yourself, hit me up on my email. All my information's in the description. Uh, I charge fairly and I work really hard with my clients. I like to you know, establish a good relationship and talk over exactly what they want. Um, and then, yeah, I put the hours in. I make sure they're happy. So, yeah, if you are looking for any work, hit me up. I do um, outros. I do logos, obviously, banners, um, overlays. Uh, I work with other designers as well. So if you're looking for, like, an intro or something, I can definitely do that. So you can see there with the pen tool, I only did half of the face because I knew that I was going to duplicate it and flip it over to the other side. Little things like that will save you a lot of time in Photoshop. You just have to kind of remember what you're doing. 
I keep disappearing. I don't know what I was doing. I think here what I was doing was um, I was finding an image on the internet of uh, a golden pharaoh so that I could kind of like reference the colours because I was going to start putting the gold in. And gold's quite a hard colour to like do by yourself because like gold itself isn't really a colour. If you know what I mean, gold is like a texture and it needs light and stuff to look like gold. So it can be quite hard to make. So I just got that reference image that you can see now. Uh, and then I started started from there, basically. I'm using Batman Forever as the font. I used it in the Ninja video as well. Uh, it's kind of become like my trademark text for um, mascot logos, I guess. I think it works quite well with them because it's quite sharp edges and stuff. Um, so it really gives some like angles and shape to the logo that you otherwise wouldn't necessarily have. Here what I do is, because when you add a stroke, the lines are curved, so on the layer underneath, I um, just go and make sure that they're pointed using the pen tool again. Make sure you're always like on different layers for things like that, so there I said on the layer underneath, that's super important. If you do it on the same layer, then you're just like kind of setting yourself up for error, because if you have one mistake, then you can't really do anything about it. You have to then like rub back into the actual text and stuff. So just do everything on a different layer. It means you're going to have loads of layers, but that doesn't really matter. As long as you have um, like a relatively good computer, layers won't make a big difference. What makes a big difference to lag and stuff is um, like the canvas size. I usually aim for around 3000 pixels. Um, recently I've been doing way more. I do like 10,000 pixels, but realistically, if you're like doing client work or something, you're probably safe at around 3000 pixels. Um, most like if you're uploading your logo to YouTube or something, it will normally be like under a thousand pixels, but it's always good to have a bigger file as opposed to a smaller file. And then, cause obviously you're going to lose quality if you scale it up here, I was just going round. I was using the magic wand to select areas within the, t the, um, the lines. And then I was just pasting the color underneath a little trick that I do is I, um, if you go select, modify, expand you can paste the color in and it goes a little bit larger than where you're pasting and that just means you don't see little gaps of color between um, what you're pasting and the line if that makes any sense <clears throat> i apologize for all the breaks i really don't know what was going on i think i just kept walking off or something this is a little effect i like to do which is where i duplicate the text i then go up a little bit and then i lower the opacity uh, it just means you get these kind of drop shadow effects I might do a whole tutorial on like text effects, just little things you can do to turn really simple text into quite cool text. You can use it for banners, uh, you can make like fake 3D effects really simple, really simply I should say. I'm currently learning how to do like proper 3D stuff. I used to use Cinema 4D but I stopped using it and kind of forgot everything so I'm relearning. I'm also learning animation. I want to take like my graphics to the next level and kind of bring my artwork to life so yeah i'm in the progress of learning a bunch of new things this if you're watching right now you can see how i do the um the shadow effect on the other one i literally just um dragged it up and then lowered the opacity but on this one i'm doing it by hand uh, because it's at a bit of an angle and therefore i want the lines to be slightly different uh, i think i actually go in and change how i did it because i looked back at it and wasn't too happy with it um but yeah just slow that little section down there if you want to know how to do that so now what I'm doing is I'm following the lines on the face and adding the lighting. That looks like quite a mad colour difference there, but I just um, I used the reference image that I was talking about before, and that is what the darker bits look like. Here I just added a bit of white, blurred it, and then set it to overlay mode, and it gives you that kind of shiny yellow gold effect. Here I was just going down all the different um, colour modes. You know you can go like overlay, colour dodge, um, dissolve. I don't know, there's a bunch of them. I was going through them all, looking at which one kind of made it look the shiniest, if that makes sense. That's actually a really useful feature. If you're not sure about um, like how to create certain effects yourself, just fly through those. You'll be quite surprised. It will often give you something that is quite useful. So here I'm doing these all on different layers. Otherwise, it would just get way too messy. And I'm kind of just adding like light bits and then adding dark bits and then lowering the opacity until it kind of looks right. At the moment it doesn't look the greatest but I go in at the end and add some gradient over the top and you'll see that it ends up looking quite good in my opinion. Here I was just adding like loads of shadows over the um over the lines 
and then I was going to lower the opacity just to kind of make it look like there's a bit of depth to them stop it looking completely flat with mascot logos you always want to exaggerate as much as possible because if you think they have to be quite simple to work um, but where it's simple you don't want to lose like you don't want to lose personality type thing so you have to get as much into a simple logo as possible so for example if you're doing like an animal the mouth is super important if you want it to look evil you need like sharp teeth the eyes need to be like not slightly evil but like super slanted with like the lines coming off to like really exaggerate the fact he's like evil Here I was doing what I did on the ninja video, which is where I had a slight colour fade on the text. I don't think I liked it in the end. I think I may have kept the red bit on the R, but not the side parts. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Uh, and you can see I kind of had the red bit at the top and the red bit at the bottom just to kind of tie it all together. Here I was just working out what I wanted the outside stroke to be. White is normally like a safe bet, but I was seeing if I could kind of pull off any other colourways. I think I just stayed with white in the end. And here I was doing what I did before, which is just adding those angles because, like I said, a stroke just ends up being curved. A nice thing to do is just to add a drop shadow on the entire logo when it's done because then it kind of makes the white stroke on the outside look like it's a bit of a sticker or something, like it's a physical object. I wasn't sure what to do with the eyes, whether to have them like glowing because my problem was that if I had them glowing... Um, the glow went over the black lines which didn't look good but if it was under then it didn't look like it was glowing so in the end I just had him just completely with whited out eyes and here I did a selection of different like styles and effects for my clients so that he could kind of get a feel for it in some different aesthetics and even a slightly different color if you see I lowered the the color on that one just to give it a slightly different look and here you go here's the final product I hope this video has been of some use. As I said, if you struggle doing these logos, just join our Discord. Uh, other people will help you. I'll help you. I'm super active. Um, you can share your work, get feedback. All of that, all of that. Because I've done this video twice, I've forgotten what I've said already. I think I covered the fact I was going on holiday. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get another video out for you guys. Uh, and then yeah, I'm going to be on my grind as soon as I get back. Uh, I've got a lot of things in mind. I think that's all for this video guys now, um, make sure to drop a like if this was of use, if it was of zero use drop a dislike or tell me why it was of no use so I can make my next video better. Uh, normally these tutorials are real time tutorials but like I said um, it's really hard to do because this was like a two hour project, uh, even longer I think, this may have been way more actually now I think about it, um, this is super sped up um, so I thought it might be useful just to kind of quickly go over all the steps. Um, anyway, let me know what you thought, subscribe if you're new, um, you can check out my clothing store if you like, I'm actually wearing a piece of my clothing right now, it's basically um, hype beast designs mixed with cartoons, so like this is club, a Club Penguin character wearing a Supreme Box logo and Yeezys, if you're into that kind of thing, obviously it's just a goofy idea, but if you're into that kind of thing, um, it's the best way to support me because YouTube pays me literally nothing at the moment. Um, I say that to be honest, YouTube's getting better, but yeah, I'm waffling. I'm like, even though I've got, I've, I've probably got about three sleep. I actually can't talk. <laughs> even though I've got about three hours of sleep inside of me right now, I feel super energetic. I don't know why. So I feel like I'm just venting to you guys. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. That is all from me. Hope to see you in one of my future videos. If not, have a good rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I can't get my